You might be familiar with amphibious vehicles, such as the AAV P-7A1, the current amphibious armored personnel carrier of the U.S. Marine Corps, which is used for troop transport. But have you heard of a high-speed, over-the-beach, fully amphibious landing craft, air cushion, or LCAC? This LCAC is a modern variation of the amphibious landing boat. It is mainly used to transport the weapons systems, equipment, cargo, and personnel of the assault elements of the Marine Air Ground Task Force from ship to shore and across the beach. So, what does this LCAC look like? Well, don't go anywhere and stay tuned to this channel. The Landing Craft Air Cushion, or LCAC, is a high-speed, over-the-beach, fully amphibious landing craft primarily used by the U.S. Marine Corps to transport troops and equipment from amphibious ships to shore operations. This LCAC is the only mode of transportation capable of transporting an M1 Abrams tank from the amphibious ship to the beach. This is mainly due to its payload capacity of 60 to 75 tons. The LCAC payload capability and speed combine to significantly improve the marine ground element's ability to reach the shore. Furthermore, air cushion technology allows this vehicle to reach more than 70% of the world's coastline, whereas the conventional landing craft can only reach about 15% of that coastline. The design concept of the contemporary LCAC program began in the early 1970s with the development of the full-scale amphibious assault landing craft, or AALC, test vehicle. There were two prototypes of AALC built during the advanced development stage, namely Jeff A and Jeff B. Jeff A was designed and developed by Aerojet General in California, while Jeff B was designed and developed by Bell Aerospace in New Orleans, Louisiana. These two craft validated the technology feasibility and operational capability, which led to the development of the LCAC. Especially for Jeff B, it was chosen as the design foundation for today's LCAC. The first LCAC was delivered to the Navy in 1984, and it achieved initial operational capability, IOC, in 1986. Full production approval was granted in 1987. Textron Marine and Land Systems, TMLS, of New Orleans and Avondale Gulfport Marine were two companies awarded competition contract for an initial 15 craft production. TMLS was later chosen to construct the remaining craft. There was a total of 91 units of LCAC that had been constructed, with the final ship being delivered to the U.S. Navy in 2001. In terms of specifications, the LCAC is propelled by four Allied Signal TF-40 gas turbines, two propulsion, two lift, with 16,000 horsepower sustained, two shrouded reversible pitch air screws, and four double-entry fans, centrifugal or mixed flow. This means the vessel can speed up to 40 knots with a full load and at a range of 200 miles at 35 knots with a 50-ton payload. The craft itself is 92 feet long with the beam 48 feet and is fully amphibious capable of carrying a payload of 60 to 75 tons overall. This craft is also armed with two gun mounts, M2HB 50 caliber machine gun and M240 7.62 mm machine gun as well as the MK-19 Mod 3 40mm grenade launcher. In addition, this landing craft is fitted with a radar and navigation Furuno FAR-2127BB. LCAC was first deployed aboard the USS Germantown LSD-42 in 1987. Accommodating a crew of five, LCACs are transported in and operated from all amphibious well deck ships, including the LHA, LHD, LSD, and LPD. In 2021, the U.S. Navy has taken delivery of the first three examples of a new class of all-aluminum LCAC vehicles designed and manufactured by TMLS. This is to replace the services fleet of older LCACs that first saw operational use in the 1980s. Those LCAC vehicles include the Next Generation Landing Craft Ship to Shore Connector, SSC, consisting of the LCAC 100, the LCAC 101, and the LCAC 102. The LCAC 100 class vehicles are built with similar configurations, dimensions, and clearances to the Navy's legacy LCACs to ensure compatibility with the existing well deck equipped amphibious ships, as well as the Military Sealift Command's Expeditionary Transfer Docks. 
The LCAC 100 and LCAC 101 are mostly used for crew training, while the LCAC 102 will be operated by the Navy along with all subsequent examples in the series. These hovercraft, like their predecessors, were designed to transport ground combat elements of the U.S. Marine Corps between the Navy's larger, deep craft amphibious ships and unprepared beaches. On the other hand, it also carries a second mission, which is humanitarian assistance and disaster relief for HADR. The crafts have ability to make ship-to-shore transits of up to 25 nautical miles, allowing larger Navy ships to remain in the relative safety of offshore waters when amphibious landings of troops, vehicles, and equipment are carried out in restricted areas. They can also operate independently of tides, water depth, underwater obstacles, ice or mud day or night, giving Navy Expeditionary Strike Group commanders more operational flexibility in terms of ground combat, element insertion, and extraction. This capability, which according to TMLS, will allow the craft to access more than 80% of the world's shorelines, is also critical in HADR situations where relief vehicles and equipment will be transported ashore in ports that have been damaged by disasters, rendering their bays unusable by deep drought vehicles. Each of the new SSC has hull construction, superstructure construction, as well as deck construction, which are all made of aluminum. The overall length of the vessel is up to 92 feet, with a beam of 48 feet and a height of 26 feet. This vessel is crewed by four people, a pilot, a co-pilot, a loadmaster, and a deck engineer. The massive open deck of the craft measures 1,608 square feet and can carry up to 74 tons of various loads, including main battle tanks and other armored vehicles, support vehicles, and heavy equipment. An enclosed personnel transport module, separated from the cargo deck, can house 145 combat-equipped troops or 108 casualty victims. This craft is powered by a quartet of Rolls-Royce MT-7 gas turbines as the main engines, each of which has 6,168 horsepower or 4.6 megawatts. With such power, the aircraft can reach speeds of up to 35 knots. The engines are controlled by fly-by-wire joystick, allowing only two bridge crew to operate the vessel. Meanwhile, the aluminum and composite construction ensures better corrosion resistance, resulting in lower life cycle maintenance costs and a 30-year operational service life. So what do you think about this U.S. Marine Corps landing craft air cushion? That's all for today. Thanks for watching and see you next time.